What is it going to take to get through to the Netflix brain dead executives? What do we have to do to get through to that thick skull of theirs? We want Jung So Men. Old stuff, new stuff, I don't care what it is. Just give us Jung So Men and I'll get off your back. All right? Is that so, is that so difficult? What's wrong with these people? Well, once again, the billion dollar Netflix has let us down again. You try to find a Jung So Men movie, nothing, nothing on Netflix. So I went to the ghetto again. I went to the ghetto YouTube. And yes, I found another Jung So Men full K-drama special, it's called. It's from way back in 2013. It's one of our first K-drama specials. Now, you might be asking, well, what the hell is a K-drama special? Well... I figured out, they, they call them drama specials in Korea. I think it's the same thing as a TV movie in America. Way back in the 70s and 80s, all the networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, they, had, uh, they were TV channels, and they did movies, movies of the week. They were kind of, kind of low budget. They were not big Hollywood uh, productions. We called them TV movies. They also had them on the Lifetime channel. Uh, basically just a TV movie. And that's what this is. It's called Came to Me and Became a Star. This is, again, one of our early, real early work, 2013. It's kind of depressing, but it's dealing with the harsh reality of life. I mean, face it, sometimes life just sucks, right? It is sad. Uh, Jung So Min, she plays an innocent, but also a heartless young woman it's amazing i mean even no matter what jung so men plays we're still going to like her right even even in her selfish role here and and she does some things that are not so nice we still like her jung so men's the best she plays a cold-hearted selfish young girl and the man who falls for her he jumps too quickly in this movie it's a it's a love story but the man they're both in poverty, and the man jumps too quickly in desperation, in poverty. Life sucks. Timing is everything, and his poor-ass bad timing is part of this sad life story. He tells her too quickly that he loves her, and he wants to marry her, and it's probably too quick in the game because they're living at a very, very cheap hostel type of place. It's the cheapest type of motel you can get. And you've probably heard that the K-dramas have a reputation for having bad endings. You've heard. I mean, I've, I've watched quite a few that have good endings, but they are notorious for having bad endings. But here's the thing about this one. Even though Jung So Min plays a innocent but beautiful, selfish, cold-hearted young girl, she still learns something in the end of the movie. This movie is about learning lessons. And even as a selfish young girl... She learns lessons, and that's why you still like the character. But for the men, the lesson here for men is don't chase women. Don't beg women. Don't put women on a pedestal. Don't lose your soul over selfish women. You come into this world alone, you will leave this world alone. Don't lose a minute of sleep over a skirt. I mean, come on. Don't even trust your own mother. Don't trust your brother or your sister. When it comes down to money, don't trust anybody. Not even your own mother. Not only your own mother. They will shit on you in a New York minute. Seriously. If your own mother will backstab you over a few thousand dollars, what do you think a young selfish skirt will do to you? If, if you let them, don't. Okay? It's a, it's a movie that all Jung So Min fans, we must watch. We must watch all of her work because, quite frankly, she's good in everything she does. Isn't that amazing that no matter how low budget the film is, Jung So Min is very good in almost everything she does. And that's why we are fans of hers. And that's why we are looking for more and more of her work, the old stuff, the newer stuff. And if Netflix doesn't wake up, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about.